Hi guys, welcome to the channel, and of course with a new update we've got a new pet, the Angry Jelly. And you might be wondering, where do I use the Angry Jelly? Which hero? Well I thought straight away Grand Warden and the Queen, because those heroes will go after defences, and obviously that can be really useful, well for 35 seconds at max level 10 anyway. But then I thought, you know, they could run into trouble. So what is it going to be like with a spam attack? And I found the Angry Jelly, especially with the Queen, was really good on a spam attack. She will target those defenses initially and help your army push through the base. So I've come up with a nice attack strategy for you to use. Jelly spam, guys. So let's check out the army composition, then we'll watch some replays. So this is going to be the army. It's going to be one wizard, ten root riders, ten valkyries, and one apprentice warden. Spell is going to be an earthquake, seven lightnings, a freeze, overgrowth, rage spell, and poison spell to sprinkle on top. Clan castle troops, couple of yetis, and some sneaky goblins or valkyries inside max level siege barracks. Now, if you don't have max level siege barracks, it's fine to use the log launcher or battle blimp to take out that town hall directly. First stage of the attack, earthquake spell and seven lightnings to take out high value areas of the base. I would prioritize eagle artillery, monolith, and scatter shots, things like that. Remember, one earthquake and seven lightnings will take out every defense apart from the town hall, of course. Now, for our first attack, I've used Angry Jelly on the king. So you can see above the king there, he's brainwashed by Angry Jelly. He's going after those defenses. I just wanted to test it out. And I think it does work pretty well with the king. But the only problem is, if you're using Angry Jelly with the king, you're not using the phoenix. I don't think I can justify that really. The Phoenix is so good for the King. Everybody's using it. So I just wanted to compare the different sort of spam attacks with Angry Jelly. So I do think it's a good combination if there wasn't the Phoenix. But because of the Phoenix, I would say no to the Angry Jelly with the King. But on some bases, you can get a lot of value. Send the King in, take out a corner of the base. There's some nasty defenses there. Use the Giant Gauntlet, etc. So on the next replay, we're going to be using Angry Jelly with the Queen, which I think is the better combination there probably the best combination that people all think about is the grand warden with angry jelly which is good as well but i think that can be a bit challenging you need the right base and your grand warden can get into trouble so i think spam attacks with angry jelly if you want an easy way to use angry jelly and i'll say angry jelly again somebody guys in the comments tell me how many times i've said angry jelly but anyway yes angry jelly on these spam attacks i think is a really good combination with the queen and king but the Phoenix says no. So how are we doing here? We're going to get three stars. And guys, this was filmed in the developer build, by the way. I was practicing some attacks to share with you. We've got plenty of troops left. And hero equipment, guys, again, it's up to you. I like using with the Queen Giant Arrow and the Healer Puppet. I think that's a great combination. I mean, Frozen Arrow and Invisibility Vial is great as well. The King, I like Earthquake Boots or Giant Gauntlet and the Rage Vial. They're both great combinations. Royal Champion, I like the Shield and Hog Rider Puppet. A different combination, but I think it's really powerful. And Grand Ward and Eternal Tome and Healing Tome has to be used. So anyway, here we go again. Spam attack. King on the left-hand side. No angry jelly with the king so far. Mass spam attack in the center. There we go. Angry jelly with the queen. We've used her ability early, of course, because we want to get those healers from the healer puppet and send that giant arrow through the base. And as you see, if we focus on the queen, now she's going after defenses. Which might not seem like a great idea, I guess, if you've got Root Riders there. But I think it helps take out those nasty defences, like the scanner shot here, the Expo, quickly get them out of there. Otherwise, the Queen might be moving towards the Clan Castle. And obviously, she's going to target the Town Hall now, will she? Is that classed as a defence? I think it must be when it's activated. That's a good question. I'll try and find out, guys. Anyway, we're doing well here. The Queen has now disengaged from Angry Jelly. Well, it basically means she now go after any target. So Angry Jelly, what are my overall thoughts? I think it's a new interesting pet. I think there's going to be lots of different uses for it, which probably is a casual player who's not very skilled myself. I'm not going to think of. But I think it does work well with the Queen. I think it does work well with the King, but you can't really not use the Phoenix. Grand Warden is very good, but can be a bit difficult. And of course, with the Queen, you can go on Queen Walks with the Angry Jelly. But again, it could be difficult. You could find your queen in the center of the base. And yeah, you could also use a recall spell, I guess. But anyway, I just want to show you it works for spam attacks. I really like it. Guys, remember to hit that subscribe button and notification bell. Join the Samoose Army for more videos like this. And remember on this channel, we do have something called a creator code. That's where you can help support your favorite content creator in-game by using their code. Our code is code Moose. Any support would be amazing. See you later, guys. Bye.